Hello fellow modelers and styling fanatics, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing fine and enjoys the hobby. Concrete Bunker is back again today with another one of its notorious episodes. So, I suppose that on today's episode you all guys uh, wait for part 6 of our market garden operation project, but I will sadly inform you that I will postpone this project a little bit. I am not serving it, uh, it's not going to be a self queen. I am just going to keep it in as a back burner, mainly because uh, I have to do some research. Some research, okay. I, I have done plenty of research, I have to do some more research, and I have to locate all the necessary components, you know, figures another vehicle etc etc uh, and while I will search for all those stuff and until all those stuff come to me ship to me I will need something to build so uh, here comes to the, the today's episode it is our next project the in-between project uh, so I can definitely guarantee you that you haven't seen this thing getting built or uh, even unboxed until now. I am, as usual, I am notorious for my choices. This is a kit that uh, my wife bought, uh, bought me as a gift quite a while ago, and I believe that this is the time for me to crack it open and start building it. So, without further ado, I want you guys to grab a seat, make yourselves comfortable, crack the mandatory cold one or a hot brew, depending where you are in the world, and let's see what's our next project gonna be. Well, I hope you guys are ready, because here the big reveal is coming, the big reveal, the reveal is coming. But before I reveal it, I want you guys to write me down in the comments if you have ever seen one of these uh, built or if you ever uh, if you were ever interesting interested to see one just for fun whatever you write down I am going to build it so doesn't matter I, I am I'm just doing a small debate you know so uh, what my wife has bought me and what's my next choice something completely different from the usual stuff boom this is a Chinese BJ-212 military jeep with canvas soft top from Trumpeter in 1 to 35th scale and kit number 02302. So, here is the box art. We see the depiction of the jeep, of course, two Chinese soldiers from what they look at, what I suppose they are, I don't know. The, they have their backs turned on me and something like a T-55 over here I don't know uh, don't don't get my word for for, gran for granted anyway it is quite a solid uh, box art I find it interesting, interesting mainly because it is a vehicle that we rarely see it is a trumpeter kit that I also rarely see getting built <laughs> And it is not my cup. Of, it is not my cup of tea. I don't have a lot of trumpeter kits in my disposal. I suppose that this one will be the third one I ever built. And in general, I find it interesting. So now, apart from the box art over here, we have some information about the vehicle. We have the vehicle length, which which is 106 millimeter. The width is 49.5 millimeter. The height is 55 mm. It also states that the total plastic parts is 167 parts. Good. That's that's a solid number for an in-between build. It says that it has uh, in total 5 sprues plus 4 tires, the body and the frame. And here we have a small lie. It says decal marking for Chinese army service, but there is no decals to be found on this kit. And this is a kit that I purchased, that my wife purchased brand new from a hobby store. 
I have ravaged the instructions and there is no decals at all. Even in the painting and marking guide they don't give you any decals plus that the jeep doesn't have any uh, license plates. So I, <laughs> I suppose that this one is a small lie. Anyway, that's all the information we get from the front of the box. Plus, I like this, you know, vintage <laughs> style of a, of a box cover. In the sides now, we have a good depiction of how the vehicle will look. This is not a modeled vehicle. I, this is not a modeled vehicle. You know, this is not a, a, a model that someone make, made. Is drawings. Again, on this side and on the other side we have the same thing, the box art, the name of the kit and the kit number over here, 02302. And on the other side we have some information about the vehicle. I'm gonna get it close to the camera, see if the camera can focus, so you can pause and read. I always read this uh, little stuff because I find it interesting. So, uh, upon a quick search I have done on the ScaleMate site, which is my go-to site to see uh, general information about the vehicle, this kit is released in 2002 with new parts. Once again, the previous kit, the, the previous kits of this vehicle that were released were from Trumpeter and one from Hobbycraft, which is a rebox. But anyway, so this is a 2002 kit, uh, and it contains plastic sprues, uh, normal one, you know, the cold one, one clear plastic sprue, and the rubber also in the scale made side doesn't say it contains a decal seat so no decals for this puppy now upon opening the box we come face to face with a lot of stuff a lot of stuff okay <laughs> not a lot we have a buggy holding the uh, rubber tires together with a uh, metal axle. We have the main body of the vehicle. And we have one, two, three, four, five sprues. Almost uh, each sprue is in its individual buggy, which is really good and the baggies are sealed with uh, you know w with the hot thing that presses the the thing together so no staples no damage to the parts and we have another clear plastic sprue that contains our windshields and si side uh, windows etc etc last but not least we have the distractions seat. Now that's everything that the kit contains uh, upon opening the box of course. Um, what I want you guys to do right now is to give me some time to clean, clear the mess of my bands, get the, the sprues out of their baggies and, let, and give them a closer look. Now everything is ready and we are good to go. Let's start from the easy parts first. The tires. Okay, we have also, you know, the metal axle level here. There's nothing for me to say about it. It is rigid and solid. A, a good hunk of metal rod that I suppose it's going to support something we're gonna see in the instructions but let's talk about the tires okay flexible rubber tires they, they feel good in, the, in my hand let's zoom in a little bit detail is there thread detail is there but it is a little bit soft for my liking let's see if the same goes for every tire 
yeah it is a little bit soft on the thread mainly over here in the middle but it is what it is okay we have some minimum flash over here in the inner side of the tire in the inner wall as you can as you can tell and nothing more uh, also there is no brand labeling on uh, on the tire you know or something like um, Bridgestone or stuff like that so that four tires included I suppose that they don't give you a spare a spare wheel I suppose that the Chinese military doesn't need spare wheels but anyway let's keep them in the buggy and let's move on to our next part. Our next part will be the chassis. Okay. Looks good. A, a bathtub style of chassis. Uh, from the upper side is relatively clean. There is some uh, detail over here. Detail. Okay. And uh, the the front part of the vehicle is molded on. I suppose that there was no other way to do it, since there is no seam line located over here in the real jeep. So they did good that they molded uh, that they molded it all in one piece. Now, upon flipping it, we are in a hellish dimension. <laughs> To be honest with you guys, there is a lot, there is a lot of injection mold marks, as you can see. Luckily, almost everyone is a shallow one, so I suppose that uh, with a minor sanding, everything will be flat. Give me a moment. Anyway, yeah, where was I? Okay, uh, I suppose that with a little bit of sanding, those uh, injection mold marks will be able to disappear but what uh, will be difficult to disappear is the trumpeter logo together with the information about this vehicle it says 135th BJ212 and some numbers and uh, the label of trumpeter copy copyright etc etc anyway uh, I will be able to probably to sand this off and maybe cover it with a little bit of mud and I don't have a clear plan about this vehicle but we will see how it will proceed uh, how, how it will proceed uh, what how it will inspire me to build it anyway uh, I am relatively happy there is no uh, sink marks there is no injection mold marks mold marks in the exterior surfaces so I suppose that it is uh, good ah, one other thing that uh, I can tell straight out of the box mainly because this kit I think that it has no engine detail uh, it, it would be good for us to black this to black to block this area you know to paint it with uh, black color in order for for us not to see the void, to see a void and no, nothing green upon looking it from uh, from the front. I suppose that whatever I said made sense right here. Anyway, that's the vehicle's uh, body, you know, chassis. Let's leave this, this aside and move on to the next sprue. Hmm. Let me grab the small ones, but first to get them out of the way. So, sprue A, from what it says over here. Here we have, I know what we have, and this is the vehicle chassis, there is a ladder chassis, ladder type of chassis. Um, this is a nice trick to hold it relatively safe in the box you know th these things chassis looks good no flash and the injection and mold marks are, are in a spot that they won't never be visible you know like here and some of them over here so that's good 
chassis is relatively detailed I can see some fragile pieces and when I say fragile pieces I am talking about this thing over here and this thing over here and that one those look like fragile mounts but we will see what goes what you know what sticks on top of them nothing else for me to say about this about the chassis so we move onwards next small sprue is sprue f so on sprue f we looks like we have the wheels and spare wheels for yes wheels and a spare wheel but without the tire just a rim anyway we're gonna see we have also what I suppose uh, to be the wheel hubs and wheel mounting points detail is there no flash at all injection mold marks on the inner side they won't cause any problem there is some nice hex detail on the bolts yeah yeah I am relatively happy yeah that looks looks like a solid kit so far so that's what's included in sprue F and now let's move to the big boys of the box the big the bigger sprues so Sprue B. Sprue B has the leaf uh, suspension system, parts of parts of the rear diff, or, or not part parts of the yeah parts of the rear diff, what looks like parts of 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 the wheels over here. We have some hooks over here. We also have what it looks to be. Uh, suspension uh, sus shock, absor shock absorbers sorry and what looks to be uh, where, where was that yeah that I think it's supposed to be the main uh, axle I, anyway I cannot be sure yet and some panels over here once again they are nicely molded detail is there it is apparent, it is crisp this pa the, 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 the leaf spring suspension, suspension system and parts like this one will take a wash nicely now this is another fragile part that I have to be careful and all these are fragile parts that I have to be careful not me, everyone has to be careful and that's it for this sprue let me give you a closer look wobbly mode That's everything included in Sprue Sprue B. Okay. Uh, another two left without the clear one. This one is Sprue C. Give me a moment, guys. Where was I? Yep, Sprue C, as I've said. Oh. What a luck, what a nice surprise. Okay, scratch what I have told about the engine. There is an engine included in this kit. Here is what is what I supposed to be the engine block. What I supposed to be clearly looks like an engine block to be honest guys. We have also some uh, piping, you know, probably water piping or something like that. We have uh, belts for the engine. We have the exhaust system we also have the oil pan right what it looks to be, yeah radiator um, cooling fan over here we have 
the steering wheels steering wheel shifters various shifters for you know the gearbox uh, pedals these I suppose that they are uh, seats the back of the seats we have details over here like um, uh, uh, window wipers and and several other stuff over here are some more detailed pipe uh, parts sorry this must be the uh, uh, the gauges the driver gauges I cannot remember the dashboard this is the dashboard what I suppose to be the dashboard lots and lots of detailed parts over here at sprue C guys everything once again it is crisply and nicely molded okay some parts require some extra cleanup like the steering wheel over here but nothing major uh, yeah yeah I am really 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 happy yeah injection mold marks are well hidden in most of the cases I don't know about this part but I don't I, I suppose they are not difficult to clean and now let me give you a closer look okay let's start from here Let's come down. And let's move on to the next one. Last from the green colored sprues is sprue D. What do we have here? Okay, here we have the soft canvas top, the hood doors of the vehicle, what looks to be the front bumper, the rear trunk door, the upper portion of the doors that it is canvas, windshield, what looks to be the rear um, passenger seats and, and some other various detail parts. Hmm. We have I think the yeah, parts of the rear bumper as well, a lot, a lot of parts. Now, uh, let's see what I can spot. Detail is nice, especially over here at the canvas uh, parts of the door. Over here, not so good, not so good for for canvas, I believe. That's my opinion. Well, that's my opinion. I don't know. I suppose they couldn't do it uh, any better. To be honest with you, I have no clue about the um, how they mold marks. The, the, the mold parts, sorry. Um, I would like the, the seats to be a little bit more detailed, you know, to have some pattern or something. Not be just like a plain bench, but anyway, maybe I can take care of it with uh, the use of, uh, uh, of um, uh, epoxy putty, sorry, brain fart over there. Anyway, apart that, parts are really detailed. I don't know what this is. This looks like another dashboard. We will see in the instructions. Maybe they give you two two options: left side and right side um, steering wheel. We will see. Let's not make uh, hasty assumptions. Anyway, let me give you a closer look of that sprue as well. Very nice detail over here in front of the in, in the front hood. We have also the the brand of the company that makes this vehicle. This is two Chinese letters. I also like the the way they molded the doors. This is the door handles that they are sunk in. Very nice as well. I believe that 
those are not sync marks even if they look like they are they are really faint so i suppose that they will cause us no problem we will see after the priming stage and those were all the normal sprues last but not least from the sprue collection in, found inside the box is the clear sprue now let me see as you can see there is no distortion parts are thick but they are really clear over here we have the windscreen, the windshield, rear windshield, uh, side, uh, side, uh, mirror, side, uh, oh, God, <laughs> side door glasses. I cannot remember how they they are called right now. Brain fart again. Uh, headlights, tail lights, and indicators. What I suppose that they are indicators relatively crisp and clean nice parts i am not going to mess with them more i am gonna place them once again inside their plastic baggie so i won't scratch them and that was everything found inside the box ah one thing that i forgot to say is that there is some nice uh, headlight detail over here let me see if i can zoom in so I can show you, give me a moment yeah. now I believe that you can understand what I am saying really really good kit I have to to, 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 to say you know I was uh, not, I am not so amazed but I am uh, gladly surprised from what I can find inside the box and now let's move on to the last thing that we can find inside the box which is none other than the distraction sheet over here as you can see here it is it is not a book it is a leaflet it's a fold out piece of paper in the let me zoom out in the first page we have the box art as expected the read before assembly manual in English and what it looks to be Chinese yeah I suppose that those are Chinese and not Japanese the legend call outs you know where to glue with cyanoacrylate glue where to put weight where to make holes etc etc color codes I suppose that these are uh, Ganze Sangyo Sorry guys, I have the little lady with me near the bench, you know, she has to learn from a young age and she has tummy aches, so really sorry, I know that it may be, um, you know, kind of frustrating for you guys to watch me cut the video in sections, but anyway, it is what it is. So, color callouts from Ganze Sangio, Sangio I suppose. Of course, and I am going to convert them to my color range. Uh, really good of them that they accept from the code they included what color it is. And mo most most of them are simple colors, you know, khaki green. Okay, I can I have them laying. I have them. I have derivatives laying around. And over here, in the first page the lie continues it says decal application in a kit that no decals are to be found <laughs> anyway so that was the first page second page we have a sprue map and as you can see we have all the sprues that i have uh, shown you and described to you but we have no decal seat anywhere so there is no decal seat uh, uh, nowhere to be find to be found in that kit and this is a solid statement now over here in the corner let me 
struggle a little bit to fold this piece of paper so I can show you over here in the corner we say it, it says that we ca uh, which parts we won't use of course and I will probably label them in the, in the future uh, when I start the build and let's move onwards so <laughs> struggle a little bit more I always struggle with fold out pieces of paper I almost ne never read a newspaper in, <laughs> in my life anyway step number one we immediately start with the engine assembly that's good to me uh, another part that I really like just from uh, the get go is apart from the parts they always they also state what color each part should be which is really nice if you ask me it makes the instructions a little bit busier but it is really nice step number two we have the wheels the wheel assembly and looks like we can make the wheels movable so far looks like so mainly because we, pos we we position this axle inside and it says over here no cement but we will see upon the construction step number three we have the uh, leaf spring system assembly and some work onto our chassis we apply some reinforcement pieces over here that's how I am going to call them and the front bumper and we move on to step number four mm -hmm. oh oh looks this looks like a busy step so over here every sub assembly from step number two which is the wheels and step number three which is the leaf spring sub-assembly will be uh, will will become a big part over here at step number four mm, this is kinda complex but I like the challenge also over here we assemble the the front the rear and the front diff and the the main thing I cannot remember the name uh, the, the exact name of the main uh, part that connects the two diffs together in a 4x4 vehicle anyway uh, now upon step number 5 we attach the engine and the oh, shock absorbers really nice oh I am right now I am amazed because looks like this kit is really detailed thumbs up for trumpeter this is the um, ah the steering wheel what I supposed to be the steering wheel mechanism. Uh, hopefully, we can make it so the wheels can turn. But I don't know. Hopefully, we will see that. I don't care a lot. Either it, uh, either way, it's gonna be a standalone model. I'm not gonna place it on a diorama or something. Step number six, we have the attachment of the wheels and the exhaust system, really nice. And step number seven, we start with the assembly of the main body of the vehicle. Over here, we make the wheel arches. Over here at the rear, we place the tank door together with the rear bumper and then we move on to step number eight which is more parts of the of the the car body like the hood and the windshield sub assembly step number nine hmm. we have dashboard assembly this thing which i have no clue what it is uh, we have a second quote-unquote dashboard that's why second no 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 scratch that sorry guys no we have it uh, I, I've got confused no this thing goes behind the dashboard 
what this thing is. Looks like a heater mechanism. Anyway, we will see. We will see. <laughs> I suppose that this thing is a heater mechanism. God damn! Wow, this kit is detailed. Detailed is realistic at least. The very less. So, step number nine is dashboard some assembly together with some detailed parts on the, the exterior of the vehicle and what it looks to be the heater mechanism. Step number ten. Hmm. I suppose that those are the fuel uh, tanks and they are relocated into the interior of the vehicle for, uh, you know, um, uh, safety purposes. Safety. Yeah, and then step, step number 11 we have the front seats assembly, what it looks like to be the front seats. Mm, they look kind of fragile, we're gonna see. I am just making assumptions over here. And then we move on straight on to step number 12. Attachment of the front seats together with the, um, the gear shifting levels. Attachment of the rear shift to, on step number 13. Attachment of the rear uh, seat together with the steering column and the steering wheel. Number 14, we have the doors with interior detail, wonderful. I suppose that we can glue them in open position. I may do that so we can have a look at the interior. Step number 15, we, have, we are touching the canvas stop. Step number 16, windows, window assembly, window attachment. And step number, finally at step number 17, we are touching the finished body to the chassis. And over here at the final page, we have painting and marking guides. It says that Ganze Mr. Color used, as I've said before. And as you can see, we have only painting guides over here. No markings are to be found anywhere. And that's it. Now, that was everything included inside this uh, rare to see kit, by my opinion. Now, what's my intentions about it to be honest guys i have no clear plans my intention is to build it straight out of the box i may do some adjustments like uh, steer the the front wheels just to make it more interesting or make some doors open make some model some doors open if that's possible of it or if i am in the mood for that but anyway, that's gonna be our uh, next in between uh, project until the until the staff arrive for the garden market operation project. And with all that said and done, we have made it to the end of this episode. On our next episode, we will probably start working on this little puppy and its main assembly. I hope that you guys found this video helpful and interesting and of course that you will stick along for this build and for the next one, uh, well, for the next video I mean. Before I go I want to thank each and every one of you guys that watched this video. A special thank you to all my subscribers, old and new ones. You guys are the best and you are the reason I keep doing these videos. Now, for the newcomers out there that, had, that encounter one of my videos for the first time. Welcome guys, I hope that you like what I do, if so, you all know what to do. Leave a like, comment with your thoughts and opinions, share the video if you believe it deserves to be shared or even consider subscribing for more builds to come your way. Until the next time fellow modelers and friends, it take care and model on. It was that Morpho Damon signing out.